Okay, right here. We can put some of this stuff away. What the heck is that? Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. <sighs> the reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hi guys, I'm Raging Diesel, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Now in our last episode, we re-familiarized ourselves with the game and got the repair tool and repaired the escape pod and the radio. We also got the scanner to learn more tech and a knife for self-defense. And finally, a flashlight to be able to work when the sun goes down. We also found that the Aurora's drive core is going to detonate. So in this episode, we'll try to sustain ourselves with food and water, look for survivors, and continue to survive till rescue arrives. So without further ado, let's get rolling. In this episode, we're gonna go without the webcam. And if you prefer using no webcam, let me know in the comments. If you want my webcam back, please let me know. But since we're back here in this world, let's Find out what our next task we should have. Should we? Let's find out what our next task should be. Uh, that's 69%. We haven't. It. So it looks like. We need to learn a little bit more. Bleach. We need to learn how to get make bleach, fiber, mesh, titanium, and some lubricant. We'll need to get all that stuff probably. But we're gonna while the sun's up. Let's go down and use our scanner and see what we can find. The guy fragment. We definitely want that. See if we can make a couple things before we get going. I would really like to get. I did some research on it, and I think our next thing is a grab trap, so we can easily grab fish and fill up with food and water. Captain's chair. Oxygen. We also might want to get that flotation device. So I'm going to look over some of this. Some of the stuff here. See if there's anything here I can scan. In there. Oxygen. Looks like we got the sea glide. That might be something we need to get. around this I don't see anything else can I use the repair tool on that I don't even have it on where's it at Let's go back. Uh, while we're down here, we'll check this out. And we'll head back and see if we can get the repair tool. Maybe we can get in that door or something. First off, let's... uh. 
what we need we need a battery lubricant copper wire and titanium so to make lubricant we're going to need more keep refined seed clusters do we have any in here we do and we have some on us let's uh make a little bit of that lubricant is essential in construction okay, we have of the titanium and power plants let's uh try to put some of this stuff away let's uh Let's make some titanium. So we got plenty of that. We'll make some more silicone rubber just in case. And we'll make some fiber mesh just in case. Now with all that, see what we can stick in the storage container. That's uh Let's go ahead and eat that. Can we can old cooked boomerang? Maybe I can't do it in that. Okay, that gave us some more food. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation oh, will no. occur within two hours. We're going to need to do something about that. There's the repair tool. So let's stick that in here. Put that and it's in four okay let's try to get rid of some of this and let's drink and let's try to drink some of this water okay we're good for food and water right now oh it's already dark Oh, he doesn't sound very happy. Another creature egg. Hoping to find some right here. <laughs> That'll salvage. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Okay, we got some more copper. Oxygen. I 
don't know how long this is going to take us to do anything, but we sure heck need to get... <laughs> we need to find a way to... to sustain ourselves. I want to find that grav trap. We also need to get other things. Storage. Whoa. Where? What's that? Stalker tooth. I'm sure that you'll need something. There's another crop. Outcropping, maybe you can get more titanium. Oh, oh, dude. He's still chasing me. Silver-based wiring, kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Uh, for a wiring kit, that's silver. That was a different looking outcrop, too. What was that? Lead. Probably need that for something. Oh, another one. There are two of them. Mine, are they growing? Oxygen. <sighs> Grab a fish while we're going by. More copper. We have more wreckage here. Oxygen. The sun's coming back up. That flashlight has really helped. Oh, we were here before. Let's see if we can find the use the repair tool on the door or something. Oh. Great. Look at here. Damaged wiring, use the repair tool. Isn't that the repair tool? Oh there. Oh, gosh, where are we? Oh, no, it's getting dark. Oh. <sighs> what do we got here? Let's see if we can get a scanner. Integrating new PDA data. It's a speaking fragment. Definitely could use that. Oxygen. New blueprint acquired. We've got a beacon. That'll help.
Ah, uh, scanners too. Definitely need to be able to get to the service faster. I want to try and look at that other room. Gosh, it's so dark in here. What is that? Stasis rifle fragment. Ooh. Okay, we don't need the beacon fragment. Oxygen. Oh. Here we go again. Oh. Okay. What in the hell is Let's go back to the life pod and see what we can make. But we might need food and water. That's blinking. That's a first. We got a beacon, so we can make one of those. Have to make one of those. Now we got some extra storage resources. More lubricant. Oh, we didn't need all that. Um, let's cook some fish up. Keep our food and wa water up. Okay, now we got the, that. We have food and water. We have another. Looks like we got plenty of filtered water here. Um, but let's put some of this stuff in uh, this container here. And I'll stick it just right here by, I guess, out here. Okay, right here. I can put some of this stuff away. What the heck is that? Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Holy shit! Radiation suit. 
And it looks like we need to get to that. So let's get the radiation suit. What do we need to get to that? Radiation suit. We need two fiber mesh and two lead. Well, he lucked out there. Oh, we have only one. But we have the fiber mesh and the other. We still have the fiber mesh in, in that, so we just need to find another lead. Get that radiation suit first. And I know we need it over in the deep, off the deep cliffs. Oxygen. doesn't look right. These are just regular. Oxygen. We need to get that flotation device. That's just too far away. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh my gosh, we cut it close. <sighs> Definitely going the wrong direction. See you. Feel the radiation. find one piece of lead and these are the wrong modules down again. back and make that radiation suit and we'll check what's on the radio Oxygen. we also got the sea glide so we, maybe we can do that before we go out on our next adventure okay We need the fiber mesh. I'm gonna put that stalker tooth away. Is that enough? Nope, I need more fiber mesh. I think we need to get We need to go get some more of this uh, creep vine. That's how we made it before. Okay, we got 
it off creep fine. Let's head it back. Oxygen. I know we need to answer that radio. First, we need fiber mesh. Okay. All right, now we can make this. Okay, we got the suit, radiation helmet, radiation gloves. That's great. Um, there was a PDA here. When she generation occurred. Power cell. Okay, we got the new power cell new items to make fins silicone rubber times two there was something that we added to the PDA Something I'm missing. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology to record alien biological data. Hmm. I wanted to get floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe. Okay, no. We need more silicone rubber. That way we're gonna have swim fins. Fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate <laughs> equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. O2 tank that gives us more air. There we go. New <coughs> acquired. Now we'll be able to stay down a little bit longer. What was that? Wasn't there... Waterproof locker, beacon, grab trap. We don't have all that. But I thought there was like a floating device. Oh, we can make the first aid kits with fiber mesh. I want to put these in that locker. You can. Oh my gosh. It's already dark again. There's the locker. Um. Put the first aid kits in here. You need to drink.
Okay, well, we had some more food and water. So it looks like we've gotten that, that part done. Um, I thought there was something that... A floating device. Definitely a lot longer underwater. Oh, we can make it. So we need to make a battery. Lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Let's see how we are. Okay, we need copper wire. Uh, need some of these. Okay. First, we get the battery. All right, copper wire. The lubricant. We have some. I swore we had lubricant. Here it is. Now we got it. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Five kilometers, huh? All right. Let's check out this. Let's check this new sea glide out. Uh, let's put this out. Sea glide here. Oh my God! Look at this. Toggle lights. It has lights. Toggle map. F. Oh, it has like a topographical map. It shows you how deep everything is. Oh, wow. And wow, can you move? Oh, he can't catch me now. I drop it. No. I just picked put it away. Oxygen. Definitely got more time under yeah. We've literally about forty five percent more oxygen. Okay, we got some food, we got plenty of water, let's uh, up ourselves and then we'll answer this radio message. I think we're ready to move on. have some to go take with us and we'll make some more water and that's all we got but in here we have a couple extra and let's go ahead and fill up Ok, 
Okay, we didn't need that much water, but we've got a little bit extra food and water to go with us. Let's put this away. This table coral away. This silver. That way we got some extra space. Let's hear what the radio has to say. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. All Signal right. location uploaded to PDA. 769 meters. Let's see if we can go help them out. Let's play the sea glide and see how much further we have to go. Where'd it go? This way. Oh, wow. We've got a ways to go. More shallows here. What's this? Another creature egg. All right. Oh! More of them guys. Look at this. Life floater. I'll read about that. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. What's this in here? Sea guy fragment. Okay, if you get if you scan something you already have, you get titanium, extra titanium out of it. More caves and stuff to explore. Where are we going here? Five meters away. Wow, there's a lot to explore on this this shallow water. Vehicle blade fragment. Great. There's life pod three. What happened? If you really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light bus. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. So they, where'd they go? What's that? I'm busy. Oh, good. Wow. This life pod really got damaged. Sea glide fragment. I'm going to drop that. Where's home? Okay, this is home. Got some more copper. Oh. Oh. 
we're really close. Just kind of take the wide range home. What's this? No, south. Holy shit, those guys are territorial. Like we got a whole lot more to explore. And I'm looking for that grav trap. Oh no. We explored our first look for survivors. So far, we haven't found any. We made it back in one piece. anything here we can store in here we'll store this titanium and copper if we need it what I'm gonna do in episode is I'm gonna read all this and see if there's anything that I missed data bank life pod 3 crew Roar survivors. All this stuff here, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit through it. Stasis rifle. I guess we got some sort of weapon. So, I'm going to read through this in between episodes and that way I can catch up a little bit on what's going on. That's all the time we're gonna have for today. So, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. Don't forget to ring the bell and comment down below. You know I love your comments. They give me great feedback and they help the channel grow. So until next time, this is Raging Diesel saying, keep the shiny side up. Goodbye everybody, see you next week.